So I have um, these ODB2 diagnost diagnostic scanners. Um, so I primarily use these um, to check my car if there's a check engine light, to find out what's wrong with it, and or clear the check engine light if needed. So I'm just gonna plug this right in. It's usually on the driver's side on the bottom. So in my car, it's going to be uh, right over here. If you can see the port, it's actually being used right now. Um, so I'm just plug, plug it. So that's that's the plug right now. So uh, this plug goes right in, and so just orient it the right way, and goes right in. Once it's in, so then I have my phone with the the Torque Pro diagnostic. Um, so one of the first things you want to do is you want to. Um, because this one's a Wi-Fi, you need to change um, the setting to be Wi-Fi. So uh, right now, are you connected to Wi-Fi? Um, so I am c not connected to the Wi-Fi. So just... I'm just going to reconnect it to the ODB2 and connect. Okay, so once it's connected, uh, you just go back, adapter status, and okay. So now everything's good. Um, by default, because I've used this before, you might need to go to settings. Um, not here. I click something wrong settings I'm clicking view profile by accident okay so inside the settings you want to click the ODB2 adapter settings and you might need to check change connection type to Wi-Fi okay so I already have that set because I used this before but um, by default it's always on Bluetooth for some reason and so once it's on uh, once you have it on Wi-Fi you probably never have to change it again so um, then once you do that you just want to click fault codes and this will go and it'll start scanning um, just press it and it start scanning your computer uh, for your com on the car to see if there's any error codes that the check engine light would come on so uh, once it goes to 100% I have no check engine light so as you can see on my dash there is no check engine light and so therefore this should come up to zero uh, nothing found usually so no fault uh, found. Um, usually, if there is a fault, then there's an option to clear the faults, or you, there's an option that you can click on it to find more details of uh, what the error code is and how to troubleshoot it. Uh, actually, just what the error code is, and you can Google how to troubleshoot it. Um, but because there's no faults on this one, um, there's really nothing to see. The other thing you want to see is the real-time information. Um, you want to go to this screen here uh, pretty much you need to have I believe uh, it has to have three of them um, at three most that's not complete well basically not green um, before your emissions test at least in New York will pass so uh, mine's I've joy I haven't really reset this so once you reset it this will all become not complete so until you have to drive a little while and once uh, all but three of these and mine has one two three so all but three is has green then you're clear so you can go to the uh, mechanic and have your uh, inspection for emission uh, otherwise it won't pass all right i hope this review was helpful uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments